Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Trent and Heath, where we're talking about all things shoes. So a gentleman came into our shop the other day, dropped off this pair of shoes to be resold, and the minute I touched these shoes, I thought to myself, I have to make a video of this, and I've got to let you guys know what not to do. Stay tuned. <music> So we get a lot of guys that'll bring their shoes into our shop and when they drop them off, I can tell instantly what type of shoe shine regimen they use on their shoes. And I knew this guy was no different, but I had to ask him anyways. And what he told me was he said, I've had these Allen Edmonds for about 15 to 20 years and I shine them with wax. And I asked, I was like, well, do you use you know, shoe creams? Do you use any conditioners at all? Or do you just use wax? And he said, I just use wax. And I knew it, that was the answer. Because like I said, I've been doing this long enough now that I can really look at a shoe and tell what type of, you know, what you do to your shoes. Like I said, the minute I touch these shoes, just like now, you can literally feel the buildup of wax on my fingertips. That is how much, you know, shoe wax is on these shoes. And to be honest with you, I don't think he's ever stripped the wax off of these things. Now, I could be wrong, but it, there's just so much wax built up on them. And that's just, that's the one thing I wanted to get with you all today and just let you know, lay off the wax a little bit, guys. Shoe wax is a good thing. Like I said in some of our other videos, it's definitely one of those things that I add to a lot of my shoes when I'm, when I'm shining and when I'm conditioning and polishing my shoes. But the, there has to be a limit to the amount of wax that you're applying. So if you can see these shoes, he has a lot of, like I said, there's buildup all along the sides along the toe, along the heel counter. Uh, the tassels even have wax built up all on them. And if you can see, they are cracking quite badly right along the vamp, you know, where, where that foot, where the crease of that leather is. And not to mention, it's cracking along the sides of the shoe here, which doesn't have a lot of stress on it. If these shoes had been well taken care of, and they had been conditioned all of these years, I don't think you would have seen that the cracking and the uh, just the overall you know, poor quality of this leather like you see now. One of the things that I just want to, to get across to, to all of you guys is, you know, you really need to be watching what you're putting on your fine leather shoes. Now, even if you're buying a cheaper shoe or a thousand dollar shoe, you still wanna make sure that you're doing the best thing that you can for those shoes to prolong the life of that shoe. And the biggest thing that you can do is make sure that your shoes are being well conditioned. Now, if you wanna add wax, that's perfectly fine, but what I'm gonna recommend is this. When you get a brand new pair of shoes, first thing you wanna do is condition those shoes. Use a really good conditioner, make sure that you get a lot on there, it absorbs into your shoes, and then afterwards, if you wanna use a shoe cream, throw, put a shoe cream on there, but then if you wanna add some wax, put one coat of wax all over your shoe. And what that's gonna do is just protect it from, from the elements. So any rain, water, you know, dust, dirt, it's gonna give a little bit of added protection to that leather. But I would stop at one coat. Then if you wanna have an additional shine, I would only put that up on the toe area and along the heel counter area in the back. Just these two areas need to have you know, additional wax if you want that higher shine. If that's the route you go with your shoes, then what I would recommend doing is go ahead and build that coat up uh, or, or build those coats of wax up, make it a nice shine to it. And then after a while, maybe a couple of months, um, I would strip that wax off, strip it all the way down to the leather, then start over again. Add more conditioner to your shoe. If you want to then put shoe cream, put shoe cream, then build that wax up again. But you want to make sure that you are stripping the old wax off and don't just keep that shoe for 15 years and just continue to build wax upon wax upon wax. As you can see from these, it really does not help the leather. And it's just, there, again, it's just not getting the, the nutrients that it needs in order to prolong the life of those fine quality leather shoes that you have. And the one last thing I'll say is this. When you buy a nice quality shoe, you're buying it for not only the longevity and the, the look of that shoe, but also but you're buying it for the quality of the uppers and the leathers that, that you may choose. So whether it's a, a cordovan leather or a calf skin or, or you know, whatever leather you choose, Part of that is being able to feel the quality of that leather and the softness and 
it just you can feel the difference in a high quality leather and when you are adding wax all along the sides like like this gentleman did you no longer can even feel that leather like i said before what i'm feeling right now is i'm just feeling you know built up wax and it, it is literally like a, a candle i would rather feel the plushness of that nice soft leather than to just have basically a walking candlestick so just keep that in mind. Like I said, I know there's, I'm probably gonna get some feedback in the comments from guys that live and die by just wax. And, and you know, I'd love to hear your comments. So whether you agree with me or disagree with me, definitely leave us a comment and let us know. But you know, coming from the professional side of things, I've literally shined thousands of shoes. And it's just one of kind of a pet peeve of mine is when I see shoes come in that are just caked in wax. And uh, I just think there's so many other things you can be doing to, to treat your shoes better. Again, I hope this information helped all of you. Uh, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you like this type of information and want to hear more, then definitely subscribe to our channel and hit that little bell button so that you're notified on upcoming videos. And again, thanks for joining us, and I look forward to speaking to you next time.